Hey guys, today I will be doing a tutorial on how to fix the super annoying quick look debug where it pretty, it pretty much overloads your CPU usage and crashes your computer. Um, and let's get to it. So we're actually going to be straight up fixing it. By fixing, I mean not fixing the root issue, but just temporarily stopping it from uh, overcrowding, overloading your CPU. So how I did it is I wrote a bash script. If you don't have any knowledge in writing scripts, don't worry. I will walk you through step, step by step, assuming you do not know anything about terminal, and we'll do this together. So to show you guys the problem that we may all have encountered is the, um, so if I just stop the script I'm writing right now, you see somewhere later, that the uh, quick loop D will show up right here. And then eventually it's gonna blow up as from our experience, right? So I'm just gonna keep running this script so it doesn't freeze my computer while I'm actually doing the tutorial. What we're going to do first is um, open up your terminal. So to do that, you press command plus spacebar. And then type in terminal and press enter your terminal shall show up. So after you open up your terminal, I have it open already. You're gonna begin with something like this, right? Have this, uh, have this thing right here. I forgot what, it, what this thing is called, but you have this thing here. So what you're gonna do first is that uh, we're going to try to get your username, like uh, what exactly your username is, so we can replace it later. So to do that, we're going to type in cd uh, slash. And then what you're going to do right now is type in cd users. And then after that, you're going to type in ls. So we see uh, a, a list of users. We see deleted users, guests, shared, and, and you are actual username. So what you want to do, you want to remember whatever you call your user, like mine is um, is uh, my mom's name because I'm using her com uh, laptop right now. But uh, you want to have your username available. You might be Mark, Bob, Kevin, whatever that is, have that memorized, you know, or maybe it's just user. So who knows? But uh, you want to keep this in mind as we go through the tutorial because it will be used to replace this part later. Okay. Now you press CD again, it takes you back to your current working directory. So what you're going to do now is you're going to CD desktop. Now you're at your desktop. So back to your desktop, you want to create a new folder. Maybe call it bash, maybe call it uh, fixing bugs, you know, and then you go into the folder, there's nothing here. But if you t you are at your desktop right now, right? You're gonna type in cd fixing bugs. It will go to the new folder you just created. Now we're going to create a script. To do that, you type in vim. Uh, whatever you want to call your script, you can call it kill bug. Now you have a new file, like it's a text editor vim. So you can type in new file. To edit in this, you want to type in i. You want to press I, just letter I, and then it says insert down here. That means you can insert stuff. So you just just copy the code. Um, I will I will put the code down below in the description. So just copy it, and then press Command V. We're pasted, and then bala boom, we're done. You have to replace two parts. So this part right here, you want to replace it with your username. So whatever you your name is. Remember the part I told you to remember it for a later part. So you want to replace that with that. So you want to go here. You can move up and down with the arrow key. Or you can move up and down with letter J and K. But arrow key should be sufficient. So you replace this part with, you know, maybe your mark. You know, maybe your mark. So replace it with mark. And then, and then just after that, you press um, escape. And then you press shift, shift plus colon, and you you should see this uh you should see this colon right here, and then you type W and Q. After this step, you want to type 
enter. So it will save everything you just did. Now you you just wrote your script. So what you're gonna do now? You're gonna type in C H M O D seven seven seven. It gives you the permission to execute it. So after that, you type in the name of the script, which is kill bug. And then now, um, if you go in here, we can see this is a program that can be executed. So to execute this, you're gonna type in period slash kill bug. So now the bug uh, the bug should be running. Like you, you can just start killing bugs. It will it will kill this every second. Like run this every second. And uh, yeah, um, assuming you restart the laptop, right, or your your computer, your Mac computer. So what you're gonna do is uh, you wanna go to you wanna like uh, it, it's gonna terminate the program. So to restart it, all you have to do is uh, go to your terminal again. Whoops, my bad. Uh, find. So go to your terminal. You press it, you know, and then your terminal will, will you know, show up. Your new terminal show up. So what you're gonna do, is you're gonna, you must add the add the root directory. So to get to this part right here, just type in cd. It'll take you back to your root directory. I mean your user directory. So now you type in cd desktop. Then cd the name of the the folder, which is fixing bugs. And then uh, calls the name of the script, which is kill bug. So you type in period, kill bug. So now you can just keep, uh, you can execute this again, even though you restarted your computer. And uh, it should work. Like for me, it worked and I'm still using it. I'm too lazy to have it fixed. Think about getting a new laptop. So probably not going to fix it. Um, but yeah, I hope this tutorial assisted you in fixing this. Uh, uh, nasty bug. Apple did not help me at all, so I have to do this myself. But feel free to leave a comment, like, or questions, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Oh, and please excuse the watermark thing. Uh, I do not know any free uh, screen recording with audio, so I have to, you know, just download a quick one. Uh, sorry if that bothered you, but yeah, see ya.